Based on the Department of Health target and the current vaccination rate in the Philippines, it is likely that we will only see easing of restrictions in about a year from now. There will, of course, be a lot of factors that will change this. The number one is the vaccine supply, and we are hoping it would be for the better. But at the moment, let's look at the data we have so far. The Department of Health, which has the biggest control over decisions of the IATF, said that the country needs to achieve vaccination of 30% of the Philippines' total population or 50% of senior citizens before further easing rules on fully immunized individuals. When they said 30%, this is actually 30% of 108 million people. Yes, the Philippines is number 13 most populous country in the world. To fully vaccinate 30% of the Philippines, you need to administer 64.8 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine with the assumption that most of the vaccines we will have are two-dose vaccine brands. The Philippines have actually ordered enough vaccine for the population. In fact, the government ordered 171 million doses, but the main problem here is the delivery of these vaccines. The average daily administered doses is now at 144,000. Now let's go back to the condition of the Department of Health. First is 30% of the population. Now, to fully vaccinate that much, we need approximately 65 million doses. If DOH is to administer 144,000 doses daily, which is the current vaccination rate, and also considering that we have already administered 5 million doses, we still need 60 million doses divided by 144,000 thousand doses per day, this would be equal to 417 days. That is about one year and 52 days or about one year and two months. Even if we remove the 10 million migrant workers and overseas Filipinos in the total population, then we still need 50 million doses. 50 million doses divided by 144,000 doses per day is equivalent to 347 days or about one year and 17 days. Even if we remove the young population below 18 years old, we'd need 39.6 million doses divided by 144,000 doses per day. That's still 275 days. But they set another condition which could be more achievable. 50% of senior citizens. There are about 7.7 .7 million senior citizens in the Philippines and we only need to fully vaccinate 50% of them. We actually have enough vaccine for this, I believe, even if it is shared with other priority groups like frontliners, government employees, and OFWs. But according to the DOH of the 7.7 .7 million senior citizens in the country, only 466,000 have been inoculated as of May 12. And that is only 6%. You know what? I have the feeling that senior citizens are not keen on getting vaccinated. Why? Because the mainstream media keeps on scaring them. We all know what the mainstream media is doing. Whenever there are news about a possible death because of the vaccine, they will blow up the news. And the end result, the people are getting scared. But I think the DOH is doing some vaccination information campaign to really tell the people that the vaccine is safe. So maybe it could convince some of our lolos and lolas, titos and titas, what needs to happen for us to achieve fully vaccinating 30% of the population, say maybe in three months. We really need at the minimum 60 million doses. If we only administer 144,000 doses daily, we've seen that this is not enough. What needs to happen is... Number one, to achieve fully vaccinating the population, say maybe in about 90 days or three months, we need to administer 670,000 doses per day. This is well above what we are currently doing. What about until end of 2021 or December this year? That is about 200 days until the end of this calendar year. So for 60 million doses milestone until end of 2021, we actually need to administer 285 doses per day. Now this could be more achievable. And there are good developments which would probably boost the vaccination rollout in the country.
it is really mainly about the vaccine and the vaccine supply itself. First one is the WHO recently approved Sinovac. The government believes that this will boost confidence in the COVID-19 vaccines from Sinovac because we know that most Filipinos trust the Pfizer brand more than any other brand. Maybe people will have more willingness to get vaccinated now, especially the senior citizens. Second, the USA have vaccinated a large portion of their population already and are going to, de- to donate 80 million doses to other countries. We are not yet sure how much will go to the Philippines, but this will surely help. So what we really have to monitor now is the number of doses per day that will be administered. Only then we could somehow predict when the travel restrictions could be eased.